Hello, beautiful people. Gracie Opulenza. I'm all about eccentric and opulent lifestyle. You can find out a lot more about me on GracieOpulenza.com. Castor oil. Big fan of it. I'm going through menopause and I'm using this for uh, inflammation, frozen shoulder and uh, stiffness. These are the things that I am combating for a long time right now still get my menstrual cycle every month but castor oil is a big game changer I had a, a knee injury and uh, today unbelievable about the treatment that I had you can listen to that after the demonstration of the castor oil now castor oil today is about how can you spot one that is um, not pure that comes from India now, castor oil should not smell like peanuts. So the moment I got this castor oil delivered, I opened the bottle and I thought, peanut smell? I got it from Thailand. Um, this is where I got it from. It should, not, it should smell burnt. Castor oil, pure 100% castor oil should smell a bit burnt. Always get it in a glass bottle because don't buy castor oil that's in a plastic bottle because the castor oil absorbs the plastic, right? Castor oil, the core benefit is that it penetrates within the knee, within the skin, within osteoporosis or, or weak bones this is my first hand experience of it I love this stuff it gives me flexibility it's thick but it should not smell like peanuts and that was my first alarm bell now the other alarm bell is this how do you test castor oil for its purity hold on so castor oil how can you test that it's pure get a clean tissue or a paper and there should be no residual after 20 to 15 seconds so i'm going to just pour it here oh geez hold on it's the first time i'm buying it in thailand but it, it comes from india right oh okay let's don't worry about that it should just soak up into the paper wait the wind god that's a bad demonstration but soak up into the paper and there should be no residue now I did it before on an A4 paper and there was residue so that means that it's not a hundred percent pure and you don't want that you want the best of the best it smells like peanut right it should smell burnt I just it just reminds me that I've been sold like peanut cooking oil right now have a look have a look it should soak up in the paper hundred percent there should be no residual or greasiness after 15 to 30 seconds it's so going to leave that now the other alarm bell is that when you put it on your hand right I'm just going to do this watch this it should be really thick I'm going to put it on my knee. I'm putting peanut. This isn't castor oil. I've been sold a dud. After it absorbs, I can smell the peanut. It shouldn't smell like peanut at all. It should smell like burnt. It remains greasy on my hand. Watch, I'm going to just keep doing this. And it remains greasy on my legs. It shouldn't do this. It should absorb a hundred percent immediately and my hand after 20 minutes is still feeling greasy it means it's not a hundred percent pure oil it's been mixed or tampered with now have a look at this can you see this can you see the residue it shouldn't it should just soak it up into the paper completely this is mixed with pay um Oh, probably cooking oil. I have no idea. Bought it in Thailand. I'm not happy about it. Very, very frustrated because I depend on this stuff for the stiffness.
for the swelling, for the inflammation, for the frozen shoulder. Okay, the good thing is it's sold in the glass bottle. This is all in Thai. It says castor oil, but um, La Homme perfumed, but I'm telling you, this isn't pure castor oil. Can you see how greasy that looks as well? Let's, let's look, right? I, I immediately noticed it didn't absorb into my skin. The castor oil absorbs in the skin. That is what uh, helps with the inflammation. That is what what helps with if you've got weak bones or a frozen shoulder and it's still greasy on my hand pure castor oil will not have this greasy feel to it or residual and i find after 20 minutes i'm just greasing everywhere it will absorb into the body pretty much immediately it should feel sick thick but it and it smells like peanut that is the, the immediately alarm bell. It, it peanut castor oil is not cooking oil. It's not a peanut. It should smell burn, right? Or even if you smell olive oil as well, you'll just you. It won't smell anything but the very product that it should be. Always buy it in a glass bottle because that um, the glass cannot absorb the the castor oil right the the castor oil do not buy it in plastic because it'll be absorbed in the plastic and therefore you're ba basically um, putting plastic particles into your body it should not smell like peanut it should smell burnt it should not have a peanut smell it, it it's it's uh, should smell burnt the colour is good, but this is not pure castor oil and you need that for menopause. You need that for the stiffness. You need that for the cold, uh, for the frozen shoulder. And you, can you see this? It's still oily and this will just remain greasy and oily because I've put this on. You can see how much I've put on. And then this morning I thought, I think I've been sold a dud. It shouldn't be greasy on your hand. Yes, if it's greasy, if it feels greasy, it's not 100% pure castor oil. You're wasting your time and your money with it. We need it. And, well, you know, I bought it in Thailand. However, uh, first time I'm buying it from this company, it'll be the last. And the key, I guess, is to buy it from a re reputable, you know, look at the feedback. So I'm really, really annoyed. It smells like peanut, smells like cooking oil, it feels greasy, look at that, still greasy on your hand, it should not leave greasy residue on your hand, it's not absorbing into the body and therefore it's not 100% pure oil, castor oil. It's great for stiffness, it's great for frozen shoulder, it's great for uh, your face, great for lymphatic drainage as well under the arm um, your lymphs on your chest and the other alarm bell is that when I put this in my belly button about 20 minutes later it's a great detox I immediately go to the toilet that has not happened with this particular castor oil it isn't castor oil it's been mixed with well a peanut oil and anyone that doesn't understand the castor oil and what you're looking for then won't know so therefore smells like peanut castor oil should have a burnt smell and i know that with coconut oil that has been made here for um from the thai ladies i immediately know the the smell of coconut oil and the pure the difference it's great that it's in a glass bottle do not buy castor oil that's in a plastic bottle because the oil absorbs the plastic it should not leave a greasy residue on your body or your hand it should absorb it pretty much straight away and I know that from experience and therefore it should smell burnt castor oil should smell burnt yes burnt there you go so I'll recap Make sure you buy castor oil in a glass bottle. 
because you don't want it to absorb the plastic. Make sure it doesn't smell like peanut or cooking oil, then it's not pure. Make sure, and then the other key is the greasy residue that it will leave both on the paper and on your hands or skin. It should not. It should. It absorbs into the body pretty fast without any greasy um, effects. And you'll feel the difference. It'll make you sleep better, which it helps me. It'll make, get away the stiffness, which helps me with my um, stiffness and my frozen shoulder. It helps with lymphatic drainage as well that that's how you know that it's a real stuff so very disappointed damn it take two i love this stuff i can't live without it afternoon this is gracie opulansa i'm here on the island of Koh Samui, thailand just want to have my um oh I just had a menopause treatment. I've had a knee injury. Turmeric, natural turmeric heat massage for the inflammation. Two coconuts a day, high in magnesium. Omega-3 oils, again, high in magnesium. And then when she was massaging my knee, which is the left side, which is the feminine side, I had a flashback of 1998 when I was in Turkey. So when you're having treatments, don't shy away from where your brain triggers the senses regarding memories. And it was in Turkey, I'm in the middle of nowhere, get dropped off by a bus and we need to get a taxi to the next destination. We were backpackers, no one wanted to help. Patience, waiting. So I had patience and I waited. And then the little kid came up and he told me where we could get a bus. Then massaging again my knee and I had a flashback of Malta when the big strikes, the taxi strikes, landed at the airport. The taxis didn't want to help us patience waiting and then someone helped us which was fantastic so that was the message sit wait patience help will come along its way and then worked on the back of my knee left side feminine side had a vision of like this pure white sand and the water went deep deep dark deep deep blue and see that coconut tree? I ran up there, high on the coconut. Coconut tree bending, tsunami waves. This is all while she's um, massaging the back of my knee that I got kicked by a man doing Muay Thai boxing. She worked on it and worked on it until the pain went, the deep water turned blue, the water's calmed, I climbed back down the coconut tree and walked calmly away. And I've not had my knee feel so strong and balanced after this treatment. Fantastic. Two coconuts a day, high in magnesium. Omega-3, she said also a sign of menopause, lack of sleep. 20 minutes a day, she said, a heat room will really help the inflammation and the sleep. So like a sauna, heat treatment. And then turmeric. Not too much, she said, don't overdose on turmeric because it can not help with the inflammation. And then she talked about the turmeric, natural turmeric heat pack. I've never had that in my life. And I can tell you, I feel alive. What a treatment. What a treatment at 30 euro for an hour and a half and then she showed me all these techniques amazing what the hell is that noise what a gorgeous little cafe there you go